hello good morning i just figured i would do a video while i am uh you know gonna talk i haven't made a video in a while i haven't been in front of the camera and i'm starting to feel a lot better now i'm back doing my walk every night for a while there i got really depressed and just didn't want to go and do anything and anyway so i wanted to talk about uh um, what did I want to talk about? Oh, yeah, I have some Amazon orders that I am getting. Um, okay, so we reordered that skirt that we did. It was clicked as a 14 skirt, and that thing came like, I don't know, uh, it was big. It, it said double X, though... I wouldn't consider that double X because I'm a double X and my daughter is when I let when I turn to my side my width is my daughter's width this way <laughs> you know looking forward so uh yeah double X that was not right but uh yeah so anyway we are we went smaller on our size so um oh and here's what they what the ones look like I did some more last night so I have quite a few more in there already so anyway um, I did some Amazon ordering <laughs> uh, um, okay so one of the things I got is a necklace well actually I got two necklaces this time uh, one is uh, I can't remember I, I don't know how it's gonna come but it's gonna come and it's gonna look really weird it's made from paint uh, like automotive paint chips or whatever so it's got like um, layers and design you know layers in it like like you would see in I don't know what they call it I forget some kind of a <laughs> I forget what they call it but anyway it's like paint stuff but anyway I got a necklace for that. Um, it says that it's made with st uh, stainless steel, so let's hope it's made with stainless steel because I'm not allergic to stainless steel. All my earrings are stainless steel or sil uh, silver, so <laughs> I try to stay away from the sil uh, stuff that says silver plated because the plating does wear off over time, and then then I start running into issues. So I try to get surgical steel if possible, but stainless steel works too. So anyway, um, so what did I order? I ordered a necklace with that with those automotive paint chip beads. Uh, yeah, they're beads. And I don't remember, I don't think I got the one that had the pendant because I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't like it. And I think the beads are only going to be black and white, which is a little disappointing, but not really. Um, I'm hoping I don't run into any, like, allergy issues because of the, you know, because of the uh, automotive paint. I have no idea. So that's the first time I'm trying, trying this out. Um, I did see some really interesting rings, so if you like that idea or go look it up. I can't remember what the stuff is called, like... Uh, Fordite is one of the names people use for it. Uh, I can't remember something motor agate or something. I don't. I don't remember. You can look up whatever, and you can see what I'm talking about. They're really cool looking. Like you can get some that have real uh, lots of colors mixed together because you know when they paint, then the uh, layers just kind of build up, and then they have to scrape them off. So. Anyway, and it makes for interesting jewelry. So, and they have lots of rings. I just don't wear rings. I mean, I'm not even wearing those ones that I got. It doesn't mean I don't wear them. It just means I don't wear, I don't even wear my wedding ring. I just, I, that wedding ring, I'm glad I, I'm, I'm, that's horrible to say. Um, I'm glad I don't wear it in the fact that I always caught it on everything. And it's got the big stone sticking out of it. And like, I'd stick my hand in my pocket and it would get stuck on my pocket you know, the, your pocket lip or whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know. It would just get stuck in my pocket. Now I'm tapping them here. That evens, evens out the bottom down here so I can feed it through the slot on my uh, bead roller. Anyway, so what else did I order? Oh, I ordered an obsidian necklace. I'm excited about obsidian. Um, so it's going to have round obsidian beads. 
I don't know how they get them round. I suppose they just polish it or, you know, maybe with sanding it down because from what I've been looking, obsidian is very fragile. See, now that I thought it would be hard, hard, you know, like, because like in Minecraft, it's, you know, it's the hardest thing besides uh, uh, bedrock. So I was like, really kind of annoyed that you can take any rock and go <laughs> and you can break it into pieces. But then again, it makes sense because like people uh, around, you know, at, uh, vol volcanic areas, they've been using obsidian for, you know, a long time before the advent of, you know, forging steels. And they were using it for materials, you know, like knives and maybe jewelry i don't know uh, arrowheads and stuff i don't know but um anyway um so i got that and i got my daughter this really nice it was a ballerina set so it had a ballerina necklace there's a uh, ballerina earrings and i believe there's a bracelet yeah it was a three-piece set and they were uh they were topaz i believe it was light blue in color I'll show all the things when when they come. Uh, some of my things will be coming next Tuesday, Thursday, a thir next Thursday. Oh, I ordered some more pumpkin seeds. Uh, they don't call them salt lovers anymore. Now they call them sea salt lovers. So, but anyway, uh, I ordered, I think, eight more pounds of that stuff. Somebody I know likes pumpkin seeds, so, <laughs> and they're the kind that are in the white shell. I don't like the, I don't like it when they are just, um, it not in the shell. I don't know how to describe it, but I like, I like them the way I've been having them, you know, my whole life, where you scoop out your pumpkin and you save the seed, you know, you separate the slimy, uh, whoops, <laughs> uh, you separate the slimy uh, orange gook, goop from from the pump, you know, the seeds. And you could do that with squash, um, butternut squash. You can do that with pretty much anything in the squash category that has a seed that's, you know, a good size. I mean, you could do it with the smaller ones too. It just take a little longer, but they don't roast. They don't take as long to roast either. So that's a positive. Um, what else did I get? I talk, yeah, I talked about the jewelry already. Um, oh, I'm ordering, because I was going to mix some of them up with some of my, I'm going to try to do some actual jewelry making with some of my beads. Um, I ordered some lapis lazuli um, round, I think they're either 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter beads. I think they might be 8 millimeters, so they're only going to be, this size, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, straighten this one out a little more. There we go. I only have three of these left, but um, what else did I order? I'm still waiting on that new skirt because size 14 was not size 14. Oh, and that pajama. Oh, I ordered pajamas. And they were size 14, and they're set in this company because my daughter wanted some footy jammies right and they said size 14 was you know a large and wow they mean large because my husband he's like taller than me uh probably same build <laughs> um and it, the jammy fit him i put him on and the jammy fits me and i'm a i usually buy 24 wide kind of stuff so yeah i'm extra fat and I don't care how many people know. I mean, it's not like it's not like I can hide how big I am. So um, anyway, so okay, those jammy, those footy jammies is what I call them, footy jammies. They're the jammies like you you think of when you when you were a kid, where they had the little white thing on the bottom for the feet, and you know, and then when you outgrow grow them they cut the footy open so you have a little extra room and they zip up you know what i'm talking about they're fleece material or fleece i don't know if that's for the right material fuzzy soft material that eventually over time they get kind of clumpy but anyway so we ordered that and <sighs> that didn't fit so i was like dang it but anyway I, i'll i'll show those things when i get them 
Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to a rummage sale this weekend. And what am I at for time? Almost 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to a rummage sale this weekend, so hopefully I'll have a rummage sale video. If I find anything interesting, it's a bag sale. So I'm, a, if I remember from doing rummage sales at churches, you get a paper bag and you can fill it with whatever you want and then you pay X amount of money, usually a dollar or two dollars or probably a dollar for everything in that bag. Um, that's generally how it works. It, I don't know. It's been so long since I've done that kind of rummage sale shopping. So, but anyway, it's it's uh, it benefits the school. So it's going to be a large multifamily kind of thing. So hopefully I'll find something interesting. Uh, hopefully we go early so I can actually find something interesting. I'll be looking for uh, paper craft type things. I will be looking for what I always look for for my dad is things like um, uh, outdoorsy things like something something print with a deer, something print with a black bear, uh, you know, woodsy stuff like that. Uh, what else would I do? Like, I also look for, like, Star Trek things for myself. Not Star Wars, Star Trek. Um, anyway, you know, things like that. That's the type of stuff I look for when I go. And, of course, I'll look for, like, clothes. But I generally like to skip over clothes because, like I said, I'm a big girl. And it's kind of hard to find big girl clothes sometimes. Uh, so, I don't think I will and I'll probably try to look for paints um let's see what else you know those are generally the types of things I look for sometimes I like to look for knick-knack type deals I do stop and look at a lot of knick-knack things uh my husband is kind of like don't go garage sailing don't go garage sailing and yard sales and flea markets and, he, and I'm like why and he's like because that's all their people's junk. <laughs> it's like, so? <laughs> Somebody else's junk could be my cool thing. I've gotten so many cool things because of garage sales and stuff like that. You know? Uh, my first record uh, it, that I ever bought is a Tom Petty record for Damn the Torpedoes. I bought it because the cover looks cool. Yeah, it's just a picture of Tom Petty. Uh, but anyway... So I'm all finished with my beads, so I'm going to be done for now, and my video is pretty long as it is. So here's what I've got collected so far. Um, yeah. So I, can, I can't wait to see what my... Uh, my obsidian necklace has a wolf carving on in it. So, and I don't remember how long it sits. I hope it sits somewhere right here and not down here. I hate it when the chains are so long that they get lost in the in the Grand Canyon, <laughs> but, um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end for now, I hope you enjoy the video, uh, you have a great rest of your morning, your afternoon, your evening, whatever time of day you'd be watching this, and ignore my messy hair, all I did was put it up in a bun, okay, bye!